Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Very good. Welcome back, everyone, to your English class. Bienvenidos a su clase de inglés. It's a pleasure to see you. Es un, poder, es un placer poder tenerlos en la clase, right? So let's get started. Does it have a view? Uh, este día vamos a trabajar con la section 2 y probablemente la finalicemos, right? Porque es bien cortita. So let's get work. Today is class 4. Do you remember? Esta sección es usual que yo la tenga en mis PowerPoint presentations. Esta sección de Do you remember nos ayuda a recordar lo que vimos anteriormente en la clase. ¿Ok? Y dice, mention at least three vocabulary words. Ah, bueno, pero todavía no hemos visto eso. So I'm going to delete it, all right? No la habíamos visto esa todavía. So let's check this one. Recuerdan que ayer les dejé una mini homework, all right? Una tarea pequeñita. So let's check what you got. Veamos qué tienen. Tenían que crear tres sentences utilizando has, goes, does. All right. So let's check. Who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría iniciar? Miss, yo se lo voy a decir a ver si. si Excelente. Let me hear you. Ok. She goes to the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh, he goes to crush. Creo que así se pronuncia. Crush. crush. Eh, she does her homework. She does her homework. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She does her um, homework. All right. Y la primera puede repetirla de nuevo, please. She goes to today park. Esa está correcta. Vaya, la número uno y la número tres, correct. La número dos, repítala. He goes to crush. ¿Qué quiere decirme no, con eso? Eh, eh, iglesia, iglesia. ¿Quién va a la iglesia? Ah, esa. Ajá. He goes to the church. Ajá, to the church. Very good, excelente, Ernesto. Yes, they are correct. Están correctas. Very good. Now, let's check another one. ¿Otro volunteer? ¿Otro voluntario? Yes, teacher. Excellent action. She has two lemons. The train goes from New York to Chicago. Uh, he does uh, 20 push ups. Ah, uh, she does 20 push ups. After <laughs> reflexiones. Push ups. Very good. Excellent. Yay. Están correctas, Marisa. Very good. Another one. Alguien más? You're welcome. Ivette, yes. tell me, Ivette. Después iría, no sé qué tipo, yes. All right, pero bueno, action, Ivette. She has a new blouse. Uh, Lisa goes to cinema with mm -hmm. her brother. Goes to the cinema. Cinema, uh -huh. or movie. Movies. No, está bien, goes to the cinema, pero le tienen que poner el D, el T-H. Ah, goes to the cinema uh -huh. with her brother. And Danny does her homework before to bed. Very good, excellent. Miss Aguirre, very good. Thanks. You're welcome. Next one. La otra persona que dijo que quería pasar, please. Action. Okay. Where has he been? Who is going to come today? Do you love you? Love, love you. Mm, pero Josué, ahí no estamos, uh, no hemos usado ninguno de los tres que yo les pedí. Has, goes, and does. En la número uno utilizó el has, pero lo utilizó en otro tiempo gramatical. Right? Okay. Yes, we need to check those. Están correctas, gramaticalmente están correctas, pero no es el tiempo que estamos utilizando, right? Very good. So let's check. What about uh, Julio Aguillón? Mm. 
he has a good personality. Uh -huh. The dog goes to the park. Uh -huh. What does? A question or a... You decide. Ahí dice sentence, pero si usted no quiere oración, hacer oración, puede hacer pregunta. Does he have a lunch? All right. Does he have lunch? Very good. Excellent. Let's ask Rebecca de Benavides. Let me hear you, Rebecca. Yes, teacher. Brian has blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Mary goes to the school. He does homework. Excellent. Very good. Those are correct. Let me listen to Felix. Okay. <clears throat> okay, teacher. Eh, desde casi no puedo participar porque la garganta la tengo un poco atrofiada, pero voy a decir lo que hice. Oh, okay, thank you. Sí, ya, okay. qué bueno que me dijo para no ponerlo mucho, muy seguido. Okay. Uh, Norma goes to the supermarket. Uh -huh. Robert does the homework. Mm -hmm. The cat has yellow eyes. <clears throat> Very good, excellent, sir. Let's go with Sandra. Después de Sandra va Moises. Action Sandra. Hey, good night. Good evening. My sister has a blue dress. Mm -hmm. Albert goes to work on Sundays. Mm -hmm. My son does homework at night. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Miss. Those are correct. Están correctas, all right? Listen up. A ver, antes de que vaya Moises, recuerden que estos verbos se utilizan de la misma manera que ustedes los hacen con las primeras personas singulares o plurales, all right? Se utilizan de same way. Lo único que cambian es que como son irregular, cambian la forma de escritura. But the intention or the meaning is the same, all right? El, el significado y la intención es la misma, transmitir esa acción, esa acción. Right? So let's go with Moises. Ok. I, uh, María has three brothers. Uh -huh. eh, quiero ver. Daniel and Pablo goes to the mall. Uh -huh. eh, ok, dos, eh, ok. Vamos a ver con esa sentencia. Ajá. Hola. Ya vamos a analizar esa segunda oración. Ok, ok. Ajá. La última. Este. They do homework at night. All right. Let's check those. ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas singulares, eh, Moises? Ah, sí, el, el he, el, and it. Excelente. Y lea de nuevo la oración número dos. Ah, sorry. Ok. Sí, es dos, es dos personas. Es, mm -hmm. Sí, es, sería un we. Ya we, ellos se convierten en they. Ah, se en they. O sea, no, no se conjuga la, las otras dos. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, hay, hay la regla. Ya cuando hay más de una persona se convierte en they. Y en la tercera le pasó lo mismo porque ahí directamente utilizó they. Entonces con they solamente se puede don't. Very good. Thank you. Let me check. Yolanda, please tell me yours. Mm -hmm. I don't see Yolanda anymore. Okay, yo creo que ya no está. So let's go with... Vanessa Scarlett. Ahí está Yolanda. Hi. Hi, teacher. Sorry, Hi. tenía señal. Ah, ok, no worry. No se preocupe, Yolanda. Ya puede iniciar. Um, sería. She has a pretty good air. Uh -huh. He goes to class every day. Uh -huh. She does 
exercise on the weekend. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Yolanda. Miren, les voy a decir algo. He notado, todos los que han pasado lo han utilizado excelentemente el uso del has, goes y does, right? Congratulations, los felicito. Pero noté algo que está bien, no hay ningún problema con hacerlo. Noté que utilizaron solo subject pronouns, no utilizaron sustituciones como nombre, right? Como the cat, eh, o oh, I don't know, Anita o oh, Pedro, right? No, nadie utiliza, nada hasta ahorita. Creo que nadie ha utilizado substitutions, but it's okay. Pero no hay ningún problema, right? Lo importante es que sí están, eh, están llevando el hilo de cómo se utiliza la third person. El irregular verb. Vamos con Vanessa Scarlett, please. She has one brother. He goes to work at night. Margarita does very good her work. Excellent. Very good, Scarlett. Those are correct. Let's listen to Omar Chacon if you have your sentences. Okay, Arita. Uh, it doesn't very heavy. Uh, Francisco goes to hospital to see family. No sé si está bien. Francisco goes to the hospital to see his family. Family, family. ¿Se está bien? ¿Cómo ve su familia en el hospital? Yes. She has a, y la última, she has a blue car. She has a new car, yes, it's correct. Solo la primera, Mr. Chacón, repita la. Ah, eso, te voy a preguntar. Yo le puse, it doesn't, it doesn't very heavy. Como eso no está tan pesado, no sé si está bien. Ah, vaya, eso no está tan pesado, el verbo estar. Ese ya sería con verb to be. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ahí no, ya no okay. aplicaría okay. ninguna auxiliar. Ok, ok, en la primera sí está. Yes, you can change it. La puede cambiar por cualquier otro, right? Um, okay. Puede decir, it does heavy work. Si estamos hablando de una máquina, puede decir, it does heavy work. Hace trabajo pesado. La máquina, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ahí sí está bien. Gracias. You're welcome. Now, everyone, excellent. Congratulations, los felicito. Qué bonito que casi todos trabajaron su homework. Eso es excelente. Porque no se descuidaron, pues. Yo sé que ustedes pasan ocupados durante el día. Algunos de ustedes trabajan, all right? Pero eso no implica que no puedan cumplir con su responsibility, all right? Con las responsabilidades que tienen. Y los felicito. Very good. Okay, so let's move on. Vocabulary, house and apartment. Let's check. Voy a hacer yo primero el vocab. Bueno, vamos a ver el video first. Vamos a ver el video para apoyarnos con el con la pronunciation, and then I'm going with you. Luego voy yo y luego van ustedes. Okay, that's how we're gonna roll it. Así lo vamos a estar manejando. Si el internet no lo permite. <laughs> Because my internet is kind of low today. Parece ser que está un poco lento el internet ahora. Okay, let's check it over here. Hi everyone, in this class you learn vocabulary. Do you listen to the audio? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 We're talking about places in houses and apartments. Yes. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. A house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. 
what rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Mm, okay, listen up. Uh, I was checking over here que todavía nadie ha comenzado en esta parte. So let's check. Let's see the vocabulary and then the questions. Primero vamos el vocabulary y luego las preguntas, okay? So I'm going to make it bigger for you. We have house and apartment, two different things, right? Dos cosas bien diferentes. So it says, first, during the house, we have this one. Let me just, voy a sacar el spotlight. Este puntito que ven se llama spotlight. Okay, in house, we have first floor. Dining room, recuerden, este no es dining room. Este es dining room. Kitchen, laundry room, stairs, living room, yard, garage. Second floor, we have bedroom, bedroom, stairs, hall, closet, bedroom, bathroom. The apartment, we have bathroom, bedroom, closet, Dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, lobby. Lobby, All right? La entrada principal es lobby. So let's check this. Voy a repetir algunas que podrían quizás costarnos, All right? Laundry room, laundry room, kitchen, kitchen, stairs, stairs, dining room, dining room. Okay, so let me have you. Voy a iniciar con Vanessa Scarlett, please. Me regala el vocabulary de house. Y luego iría Omar Chacón con el vocabulary de apartment. Action, Vanessa. First floor, dining room, kitchen, living room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Uh, uh -huh. Living room, stair, yard, uh, garage, uh, second floor, bedroom, uh, classe, hall, bedroom, bathroom, stair. Very good. Let's go, Omar, with apartment. Okay, vocabulary apart. Bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, living room, kitchen, y elevator, y en lobby, en lobby. Repeat, elevator. Elevator, elevator. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. Okay. Let's go with Rebecca de Benavides, el house vocabulary, el apartamento de house. Jessica Hernandez, apartment. Okay, action, Rebecca. Tiene el micrófono apagado, Rebecca. Oh, creo que él tiene mala señal. Okay, let's go with Sandra, please. House vocabulary. El, el vocabulary de house. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, garage. Very good. Let's go, uh, Jennifer, with, no, perdón, Jessica Hernandez con el apartment. Okay. And bedroom. Bathroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, ele elevator, 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 lobby. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Julio Aguillon, please. House vocabulary and 
Félix, bueno, no, Félix me dijo que estaba enfermito. Okay, so, Julio, uh, house vocabulary and Moises apartment, please. First floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stair, second floor, bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stair, bedroom, bathroom, garage. Excellent. Thank you, Julio. Let's go with Moises. Apartment. The apartment. Back room. Back room. Closet. Dining room. Kitchen. Living room. Elevator. And Thank lobby. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Yvette Aguirre House y Rebeca de Benavides Apartment. Mm -hmm. Action Yvette. First floor, dining room, living room, kitchen, laundry room, stairs, yard, garage. Second floor, bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, bedroom, bathroom, stairs. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Aguirre. Let's go with Rebecca. Uh, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, living room, kitchen, elevator, lobby. Excellent, Miss. Thank you so much. Let's go with Jennifer Marisol House or Sue Granados apartment. Fear floor, dining room, living room, yard, kitchen, laundry room. Stadium, second floor, bedroom, closet, hall, bedroom, bathroom, stadium. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. Let's go, Mr. Granados. Apartment. Apartment. Bathroom, bedroom, dining room, living room, kitchen, elevator. Elevator. Elevator lobby. Excellent, thank you. Let me have Yolanda Flores House, Ernesto Portillo Apartment. Action. House, first floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, garage, yard. Bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, bedroom, bathroom. Excellent. Thank you. Just repeat after me. Solo repita, Yolanda, después de mí. Garage. Garage. Excellent. Thank you. Action, Ernesto. Okay. Apartment, bathroom, bedroom, clothes. Closet. Closet, kitchen, kitchen, the, the room, uh, the room, uh, eleva, ¿cómo? Eleva elevator. Room, elevator y lobby. Okay, repeat after me, apartment. Apartment. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. There you go. Thank you, sir. Muchas gracias. All right, everyone. I think nobody else is missing. Creo que nadie más falta de esto, so... Uh, Beatriz Hueso, usted no pasó, right? Ah? No. No, okay. So give me the house, please. House vocabulary. Uh, first floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, status, yard. Uh, second floor, bedroom, uh, closet, hall, status. Bedroom, bathroom, garage. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. All right, everyone. Miss. Yes. Miss. Uh, what's the mean hall? Hall. Pasillo. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hall. Although it's not very usual in Salvadorian houses, right? Casi que no es usual en las casas salvadoreños tener hall. But let's check. Me falta Francisco, please. Usted sería apartment. 
bathroom, bedroom, dining room, living room, elevator, kitchen. All right, repeat after me, elevator. Elevator. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Love. Thank you. Lovely. Very good. There you are. Okay, now let's check this. Quiero que chequeamos esto, right? Questions to practice. All right. What rooms are in your house? ¿Qué habitaciones tenemos en nuestra casa? What rooms are in houses of your country? ¿Qué habitaciones hay en las casas de tu país? What rooms are in apartments in your country? ¿Qué habitaciones hay en los apartamentos de tu país? So, I'm going to ask. Yo voy a ir preguntando, ustedes van respondiendo, ¿ok? Solamente para decir la respuesta, cuando yo pregunte, what rooms are in your house? Usted puede decir, we have, ah, no, I have a dining room, kitchen, laundry room, all right? Leí, si le preguntan, what rooms are in houses? Usted va a decir, they have, right? Para este sería, I have. Y ya pone lo que sigue, right? Lo, los cuartos que usted quiera. Y en esta pone, they have, porque estamos hablando de las casas, right? They have. Y para la otra, what rooms are in apartments in your country? Lo mismo, they have, all right? That's it. So let's check. Let's start with Julio Aguillon. What rooms are in your house? Bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, uh -huh. I have living room, bedroom, uh, dining room, and kitchen. All right, excellent. Thank you, sir. And um, let me check. Yvette Aguirre, what rooms are in houses of your country? They have, uh, they have, uh, sorry teacher, me dijo room. Sí, rooms, habitaciones. <laughs> they have two or three rooms. Which uh, are, que serían? Uh, bedroom. Mm -hmm. Bathroom, mm -hmm. kitchen. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, most of the houses, that's what they have, right? La mayoría de, de casas de nuestro país, eso es lo que mantienen. Una kitchen, un bedroom, o a veces two bedrooms, three bedrooms, one bathroom. Very good. Let's go with the last one. What rooms are in apartments in your country? Moises. Uh, okay. They have um, bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, bedroom, mm -hmm. kitchen, and, and living room. Living room. Excellent. Yeah, that's true. Okay, very good. So yeah, because of the infrastructure is not so big, we are not able to have more rooms, right? Ya que las infraestructuras no son tan grandes aquí, pues no es como que podamos tener más cuartos, right? We have the basic ones. So let's see. Sí, check... <laughs> yeah, Sorry. it's true. Okay. El caso de que la, la, sala, la sala y el comedor es uno solo. Uh, in that, en ese caso. Sí. Me está preguntando cómo se diría o, o que eso es lo sí, que pasa. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se diría? Puede decir, the kitchen is in the living room. Bueno, en todo caso, como dijo comedor, sería dining room. The dining room is in the living room. Y usted puede agregar, they are together. Ok. Yes, very good. Both of them are together. Now, everyone, let's check the following. We have a conversation. Tenemos una conversation, right? Actually, we have two. Después de más vocabulary, tenemos otra conversation. I'm going to make it bigger for you. I oh, know we're going to listen the video. Vamos a escuchar el video first. First.
Okay, let's listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, we're going to stop it in there because what I wanted for you, it was for you to see the conversation, right? To listen to the conversation. So let's get started. We have Linda and Chris. Guess what? Recuerden hacer la intonation. En inglés no solo hablar como si fuéramos Salvadorian people. Ah, la, 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 la. No, you got intonation and you gotta make it. Tiene entonación, hay que hacerla, right? Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Aquí no está comenzando con el it, la pregunta, sino que inicia con el verb to be, is. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, now let's check. Let me have, do I have a volunteer to practice with me? Tengo un voluntario que practique conmigo? Yes. Okay, excellent. Let's get started with Julio. Okay, Julio, I'm Linda, you are Chris. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's right. What it's like. It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a living room, a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> Bien contenta lo dice ella, pero en la foto se ve que está triste, all right? <laughs> Solo ve más ladrillos. So let's check. Let me have... Mm, Jessica Hernandez, you are Linda. Josué Granados, you are Chris. Guess uh, what? I have a new apartment. That's a way. What it's like? It's really beautiful. Is it very good? Well, it has a big living room, a small, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. Where is On Lakeview, Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Do it. Uh, uh, Como que ella se murió, abuela. No me diga yes, eso. it does. No me diga eso. Es it was a great view, view of another apartment building. All right, excellent. Thank you, Linda. 
Thank you, Jessica and Mr. Granados. That was great. I was able to listen extra information. <laughs> yes, Moises. Justamente eso estaba pensando. All right. <laughs> Let's check. Let me have another one. Vamos con otra pareja. No, no sé. No sé si le prestaba más atención a la música o a Jessica. So let's check. Um, Quedé impactada to... con lo de José José. Exactly. Ah, yo también. <laughs> Dato curioso, dije. <laughs> Let me check. I'm going to have Moises to be Chris. Okay. And um, ya le busco una linda. Let me check. Rebeca Enriquez, please. You are Linda. Action. That's right. Guess what? I have a new apartment. And that's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. It's a very it's very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, like a bit dry. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of view. another apartment building. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, Rebecca and Moises. Let's have Yvette Aguirre as Linda and Oscar as Chris. Action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really it beautiful. Like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. That, does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Thank you. Nice. Good rhythm. Miren, hasta ahorita todos los que han participado han tenido un buen ritmo, un buen ritmo y han tenido ese respeto por los signos. All right. Very good. Oscar, repita después de mí. Is it? Is it? Excellent. Very good. Vamos con Francisco Martínez as Chris, Vanessa as Scarlett, you are Linda. Action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. It's really beautiful. Uh, well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. On um, on Lake View Drive. Oh, does does it have? No, eso le toca a Francisco, Vanessa. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, Francisco, es que se le escucha bien lejos la voz, Francisco. Ajá, continue. Yes, it does. It has a view view of another apartment building. Excellent, thank you. Listen up, everyone. Let's try to check those audios. Tratemos de chequear esos audios, all right? Si usted tiene audífonos de los que se ponen, um, o sea, obviamente todos son de dos, ¿verdad? Pero usualmente traen aquí abajo el micrófono, no se deje el micrófono así como manos libres. No, póngaselo aquí, all right, porque si no se hace bien difícil poder escucharlos. Let's go to the next one. Vamos con Sandra Guadalupe. You are Linda. Ernesto Portillo, you are Chris. Action. Okay. Yes, what? I have a new apartment. Uh, they agree. What is it like? It's really beautiful. 
is it very big? Is it? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview, try it. Oh, nice. Does, does it have a wind? A view? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Very good. Now, let's check. Let's pass to the following. Los que no me participaron aquí, do not worry. No se preocupe, usted va a participar más adelante, right? Tenemos otra conversation y aparte tenemos esta information. Vaya. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Vamos a tener aquí a Omar Chacón, please. Usted pregunta, Beatriz Hueso, usted contesta. Action. Do you live in a apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have, have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in house? Deep house. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Omar, repeat after me. Live. Well, perdón. Live. Live, live, okay. Do you live? live. Y aquí sería, does Chris live? Does Chris live? Okay, yes. muchas gracias. Beatriz, repeat after me, do. Do. They do. They do. Excellent, thank you. Now let's check the following. Vamos con la siguiente pareja, que sería um, Jennifer Marisol. You ask, usted pregunta en Rebeca de Benavides, you answer. Usted contesta, Rebeca. Action. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have, uh, have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now, listen up, my dear students. Escuchemos y prestemos atención a esta parte, mis queridos estudiantes. Estas se llaman yes or no questions porque tienen short answers. Eso lo expliqué ayer que vimos las preguntas, right? Se les llama yes or no, no porque comiencen con yes or no las preguntas, sino porque se responden de esa manera. Así de sencillo, así de corto. Yes or no, all right? Entonces, estos son los mismos tipos de preguntas que hemos visto anteriormente desde el día miércoles, all right? Que hemos estado estudiando estas questions. So we're not gonna take too much in here. No nos vamos a detener mucho tiempo aquí. Let's move on to the next one. Vamos a furniture, all right? Furniture es todo lo que nosotros tenemos en la casa, okay? Desde una cama hasta sillones, en televisión. ¿Cómo, qué, ¿Cómo le decimos a eso en español? Muebles. Muebles, all right, excelente. Pero hay otra palabra, creo yo, que es un poquito más delicada. En seres. And said it's aha, uh -huh, right? It could be, but I think it's another way too. Okay? So let's check this one. Esto es lo mismo, right? Furniture. We have armchairs, a stove. Voy a sacar el, el puntero por aquí. 
el spotlight, armchairs, stall, curtains. Aquí no vamos a decir contains, no, vamos a decir curtains, curtains. Yes, Moisés, ¿tiene una pregunta? Sí, eh, lo que sí no dice stuff, pero se puede decir también el, como, bueno, ya lo he escuchado que se dice que se escribe stuff con F, stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff. O mm. lo mismo. Stuff eh, significa cosas. No sé si no. usted ya lo habrá escuchado así. Right. Bueno, porque yo le he leído, he visto, o sea, uh -huh. así como material didáctico que el, cuando se refieren a cocina, uh -huh. se refieren según cómo está escrito, lo veo yo, S, T, U ah, y no. una, una o dos F, no me recuerdo. Ah, no, entonces sí es stuff lo que usted dice, right De objetos. Ah, okay. ah. Y también está estufa. Ajá, estufa. Ajá como estufa. Uh -huh. También se le puede referir como estufa, no es necesariamente sí. como cocina como tal. ¿no? Ajá, exacto. Pero esta es stuff, right? Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. ok, gracias. Great. Eh, let's check. Sigamos con esta otra, que es la que usualmente me les cuesta a mis alumnos, right? Curtains. Curtains. No me vayan a decir curtains, porque no existe curtains. 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 Pictures. Clock. Bed. Desk, lamps, refrigerator, microwave oven, table, coffee table, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, sofa, rug, television. So I'm going to start. Voy a pedirle a Julio Aguillón, please give me the vocabulary. Me regale el vocabulario. Eh, Anchors, tooth, stuff, stuff, mm -hmm. curtains, picture, clock, bed, table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, television, rug, mirror, gyres. Dresser and bookcase. All right, repeat after me. La más sencilla, repítela después de mí. Sofa. Sofa. Uh -huh. Exactly. Sí, teacher, pero se escribe como en español, sofa. Sí, pero no se pronuncia igual, right? Esta es sofa. All right? Es, por ejemplo, mango, también se escribe mango en inglés, pero se pronuncia mango. All right? So it changes the pronunciation. Cambia la pronunciación. So let me have another one. Voy a pedirle a... Let me check. Vanessa Scarlett, please give me the vocabulary. Arm chairs, stop, curtains. Curtains. Curtain. Oh. No, no suena la, la T. Es curtains. Curtains. All right. Let's check. Vamos a ver si les puedo hacer la pronunciation. Curtains. Curtains. All right. La A la que van a eliminar. Curtains. Le vamos a agregar este espacio. All right. Curtains. Continue, Vanessa. Curtains, uh, pictures, clock, bed, desk, lamps, refrigerator, microwave oven, table, coffee table, table, bookcase, dresser, shirt, mirror, sofa, roof, roof, roof. And television. Excellent. Very good, Vanessa. Thank you. Now, let's go with another one. Uno más y de ahí nos movemos a la conversation. I'm going to ask, voy a pedirle a Omar Chacón. Please give me the vocabulary. The um, amateurs, stuff, curtains, curtains, 
pictures, clock, bed, lamps, desk, sofa, television, rope, mirror, refrigeration, microwave, oven, chairs, table, coffee table, bookcase, dresser. Excellent. Repeat after me. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. ¿Cómo es, perdón? Refrigerator. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Refrigerator. Very good, sir. Excellent. All right, everyone. There you have it. That's the vocabulary. Teacher, ¿y este vocabulary en sí no sirve para algo? Yes, aparte de que usted tiene que conocer eso porque son las cosas que tiene en su hogar usualmente. También le sirve para hacer oraciones en presente simple. My living room, recuerdan que ya aprendimos las partes de la casa, entonces en esta oración estoy utilizando eso. My living room has a sofa, a television, and a bookcase. Right? That's what my living room has. Y su tarea para, la, para el lunes va a ser lo siguiente, miren. Practice time. Work individually. Create a loose, at least two sentences similar to the guiding example. Dos oraciones, oraciones similares al ejemplo que les acabo de dar, all right? Es decir, van a hablar de una parte de su casa, de una habitación, y van a decir qué muebles hay en esa habitación, all right? What furniture do you have in that room? Only two examples. Solo dos oraciones voy a necesitar para el lunes, right? Eso va a ser como el warming up. No so puede let's poner continue. el ejemplo, teacher. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you are. Let's move on to the next one. There aren't any chairs. Chris and Linda. This apartment is great. Recuerden, recuerden, please, por ahí escuché que alguien me dijo apartment, no es apartment, no tiene otra, no le podemos inventar, es apartment, apartment. This apartment is great, thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs, <clears throat> there are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let me have, voy a pedirle a Moises, you are Chris. Okay. Jessica Hernandez, you are Linda. Action. Okay. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. Furniture, okay. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only the lamps. So let's go shopping next week. Can you repeat again, Moises, please? So let's. La, la última. Okay. Oh, la so let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Si es que no le cansé escuchar, Moises, porque un carro estaba bien, bien ruidoso afuera. Oh. All right. Okay. Just in your problem, part. Justamente en su parte. All right. Very good. Let me have another one. Vamos a tener a otra pareja, which it would be, sería Beatriz Hueso. You are Chris. Usted sería Chris. And Yvette Aguirre, you are Linda. Action. Vaya, creo que Rebeca no tiene nuevo señal. So let's move on. Josué Granados, usted va a ser Chris. Y ve, usted sería Linda. Action, Josué. This apartment is good. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need, uh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. 
and Terry no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right. Let's check this. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Listen up, escuchen, all right? Para este día ustedes tienen que finalizar esta section y realmente ya no es nada lo que nos queda, solo nos quedan las structures y los readings, que estos son de práctica, all right? Entonces, para este día, de acuerdo a la calendarización de inglés corporativo, ustedes tienen que haber finalizado section one and two, all right? So I'm gonna let you go now. Los voy a dejar ir ahorita para que puedan avanzar en eso, all right? So I'm going to see you on Monday, everyone, all right? Ya, Bye, ya, have ya, a good ya, night. ¿Puede ponerlo de la tarea que, que dijo que iba a dejar? Yes, esta. Right. Sí, sí, rapidito, solo le tomo una foto. Gracias, muy amable. Good night. You're welcome. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. See you on Monday. Bye. See you on Monday. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.